Hey y'all, today I have two new products, the CoverGirl True Blend Undercover Concealer and the CoverGirl True Blend Minerals Powder. This is a loose mineral powder and the shade is Banana 600. So I have these two products I want to try out for you guys on my face, let you guys know my thoughts on them. I feel like I've never loved the CoverGirl Concealer, like I've liked some of them, but to say I loved it, I don't... I don't think that was ever a thing. So I'm really excited to try this out because there was a nice shade range, you guys. Like, there was some shades up in there, okay? And I love the True Blend Foundation. I love, love, love it. The shade range is impeccable. So I was really excited to see So I was really excited to see this in the drugstore. I didn't even know this was coming out. I didn't get the memo. But I'm happy I walked into CVS because I picked this up. I also picked up the powder because I felt like I had to, you know, I had to try it. So this is in the shade Banana. There were two shades I saw, Translucent and Banana. I picked the yellow one because I figured it would be a little bit better for me since, you know. In today's video, I'm going to try out the concealer and the powder and give you guys my thoughts on these two products. Keep on watching. And once again, the shade is Golden Caramel D100. So, I'm not sure if this is the right shade, but hopefully it is. And I'm just going to apply this. Okay, this is a good shade. Oh, I'm happy with this shade. This looks really good. I actually like this consistency as well. Hmm. Okay. Okay, this consistency is really nice. I'm going to just do my forehead and then my nose. To blend this out, I'm going to use a damp beauty blender and just start blending it into my skin. So far, it's blending really good and nicely. It's not like picking a product. It's blending very well. Um, let's see in here. Okay, so I really, I really, really, really like the color. I love the way it blended. I love the formula. Oh my gosh, I think I love this concealer. I love the coverage. I'm gonna apply a second layer, not because I have to, but because I wanna see how it layers. And also I wanna see like what the possibilities are, like what we're working with here, you know? Gotta put it to the test. Sometimes you can't layer products and you may want to layer products. So I wanna see, I wanna see if it's able to be layered. Okay, we're gonna blend this in. I am one thing I did notice is it was drying a little bit quick, not like quick, 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 but like quick, quick. So you do want to blend it out um, sooner than later. This is not a concealer you let sit on your face for two minutes because it will blend. I mean, it will dry. It will dry out. <laughs> but this looks really good, you guys. Like I really love this concealer. Okay, so it's really better. I'm gonna just add some right here. I think this concealer will pair really nicely with the foundation. So I'm going to try that um, combo tomorrow probably. I'm going to go right into the powder. This is the True Blends powder. I picked up the shade 600. Open this up. Okay. I was literally struggling to twist this cap off and then I realized it's a pop off cap. So I just... I just, yeah. So there's that. My first impression of the powder was it was way too powdery and it looks really, really white. It's actually been like five minutes since I had it on because I was getting my kids like settled. So it did settle in and it's slowly becoming less and less white. So that's a good thing. I'm going to take my Laura Mercier powder and just set the rest of my face with it. This is a deeper brown powder that I absolutely love and adore. I'm currently trying a new foundation, which you guys will see the video for that um, as well. While we're here, I'm just going to bronze my face up real quick. I'm going to use Mommy Nights from Becca today, which is this one right here. This is one of my favorites. So for blush, I'm going to take this Joy palette and I'm going to use 
this color right here. It's kind of like a shimmery orange color, but I really like it. This one right here. I feel like I don't really need any highlighter with this blush because it's really a nice sheen of color. It looks really, really pretty on its own. So I'm going to skip on highlighter for my cheekbone, but I'm definitely going to do my nose and stuff like that. I'm going to use Becca's Chocolate Shield. Let's just do some eye makeup. I'm gonna use the Anastasia Alyssa Edwards. I'm gonna do a pop of color type of look today. So I'm gonna just take Ho and put that all over my eyelid. It's not really called Ho, but I wanted to call it Ho because I felt like it. It's called H O E. Okay. I'm gonna put this all over my eyelid. I'm gonna take a little of uh, back roll, so just deepen up my crease because it's looking a little flat. My camera just stopped recording because the memory card was full so I'm gonna just go right into my lower lash done. I wanted to do like a colorful thing, a pop of color. So I'm gonna start with the yellow. I'm gonna add a little bit of Texas Made. And then I'm gonna do Believe. I just wanted a little pop of color. I'm gonna take Chestnut from MAC to line my lips. And then for my lip color, I'm gonna use this NK Lip Gel from the Beauty Supply Store. These are the most juiciest lip glosses ever, like, they're so bomb. I'm gonna spray my face because I have to. It's fan time! So let's get into this concealer. So far I'm not the biggest fan of this powder. The color is just a little bit on the light side, the light white side for me. I also find the packaging to be extremely messy. Like look how much product has come up. Look how much product has already came up and I've only used this one time like literally two seconds ago. Also the top does not twist, it's like a pop off top which makes no sense for a powder because this is a recipe for disaster. Not the biggest fan of the packaging and also I don't know about the powder. Maybe in a different shade I might like it but I probably will not be using this powder anytime soon. So the concealer, I really love the concealer you guys saw when i first applied it i already knew i liked it a lot and i really really do think it's definitely going to be one of my new favorite drugstore concealers right now my favorite one is from l'oreal which is pretty much the same shape i feel like a lot of companies are going with that tarte shape tape look you know it was such a bomb concealer at the time before tarte decided to go left on us you know but i feel like a lot of companies are coming out with a similar shape similar applicator you know, like this, this, this type of product. I love the applicator. I love the color. When it comes to L'Oreal versus this one, this color to me is a lot more flattering on my skin tone. I love this color a lot more. There's a lot more options in this line than the L'Oreal line, which is amazing. I love that. I'm definitely going to pick up a couple more shades. I want the next one up from this one, and I also want to pick up the deepest shade to do some contouring. So I do love the concealer a lot. This is my first time trying it, so I definitely need to try it out more. First impressions are kind of iffy sometimes, you know, this might be a good concealer day for me. But I definitely want to try it out some more, like when I have some patches to see how it operates with patches. One thing about the concealer to note, I feel like it does dry a little bit fast. Not super fast like I mentioned in the video, but, but it dries faster than other concealers. So you do want to keep that in mind and not wait too long to blend it out. Um, layering, it laid really well. It just, uh, it's a really good concealer. I definitely, would I definitely would recommend the concealer to you guys. Try it out for sure. And if you already tried it, let me know what you think about it in the comment section down below. I think I'll do maybe a full face of CoverGirl with the concealer and the foundation together so I can see how they work together because I love that foundation, you guys. It's such a good full coverage foundation for the drugstore. So anyways, I am out of breath. <sighs> okay. I feel like I just spoke for like a good hour. Anyways, you guys, I am out of breath. I'm going to go ahead and turn this camera off and I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye. Love you. In case you were wondering, I did do my hair myself. <laughs>
this is my first time doing crochet braids so i am so proud of myself y'all like you have no idea okay 